your neighbor say happy Easter. I can't hear you. Say it again. Say happy Easter. With joy. I can't see that joy. Okay, listen to me. If you know you are hoeing a, a Shylock, two million dollars, and that Shylock is taking you to prison, and there is a man appeared to say, how much are you owing this man? Uh, you said 2.5 million. So we are going to prison because see, I can't pay this man. Then the man said, I'll pay for you. You are not going to prison. Are you going to... <laughs> You roll, you roll on the ground. You do what? You roll on the ground. Eh? This is what Jesus has done for you. The punishment that you deserve, he took it upon himself. He said, let me die for you. Ah, 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 ah. Listen. He said, you, you don't understand the pain. Me, I am an expert of beatings, insults. Name them. Go and enjoy. Let me die for you. What no man can do for you, he has done it. Look, people of God. When we talk about covenant, people doesn't understand what is covenant. The word covenant is God himself. All the problems that we are going through in our families, someone made a mistake. He made a covenant with witchcraft, ancestral. You remember some of you, who was behind that? Ancestral. That is covenant. Now Jesus said, no. I am here. Forget about uh, concussion. Forget about Forget about yo 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 He said, I am here now to give you a new foundation. So make no mistake, Easter is not one of the holidays. No. Sometimes when I hear people saying uh, Easter holiday, I said, God, why Easter holiday? Jesus, you call him holiday. No. Hmm? Oh, Easter is not holiday. We don't know the benefit of Easter. Whether when you hear the word Easter, know for sure that that was the day. Jesus buried your past. So stop thinking about your past. We are here to take over now the future of our family. We are taking over the ancestral. We are taking over poverty. We are taking over limitation. Ah, we are driving the future. That is Easter. That is what? We may be seated. Let me start with John so that you understand the point of Easter and the man Jesus himself. We all know the book of John chapter 1. We read the Bible every day. Jesus became the pillar or the power of life. Before now, it was the word. 
God was now using him to create everything. He was the word before now. After the creation, you and me, we rebelled against God. Then God said, no. You are not going to be the word alone. You will be a, again a power. From word to power. You carry two things. You are the word and you are the power. Are you there? He said you are the word of life. At the same time, you become the power of life. He was the word at the time of creation. But thereafter, after God created everything, there was no one here on earth to lead you and me. God Almighty said, you are the word. But I'm sending you to the world as the power of life. Can we go to First John? When we finish John, we go back to, we, we, we go back to the book of um, Titus. But let's go to John first. I know that we read the Bible, and this is Easter. Let me start with verse 1. John chapter 1, verse 1. I think I'll just read 1, 2, 3. Then we go to Titus. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Two, he was with God in the beginning. Three, through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. Take note of that one. Without him, are you reading the Bible? Without him, that is Jesus for you now. He was the word. He was with God. He was God. God created everything through him. Let me repeat verse 3. Through him, all things were made. Without him, nothing was made. Without what? Tell your neighbor, say, Jesus is the power of life. Say it again. Yes. We are going to stand on that one, starting from today. Jesus is the power of life. There is no life outside Jesus. Even if you know you have got everything under your custody, you need Jesus. Whether young or old, you need Jesus. He was the word at the beginning. God used him to create everything through him. After the whole creation, the world rebelled against the creator. And it was very difficult for you and me to come back again to our creator. Because of what? Sin in us. Then God said again, I'll send you to the world. This time around, you are not going to be the word alone. You'll be the power. Because what creates the world is power. What can save, you know, your life is power. What controls your life is power. Whether on the negative side or positive side. Power is what? Is power. But there's what we call supreme power. That is the power from above. So it was the word. You are the word of God. God said, let us make man in our own image, according to our life. That is, the, he, he spoke the word, and the word become human being. Who was in that word, calling, you know, the word from the mouth of God? Jesus Christ. I want to call you step by step so that we understand this. Because we have been celebrating Easter like one of the holidays. No. Jesus is life. Jesus is the word. 
Jesus is the power of God. If you say you need the word or I need the word, it is not the word that you need. You need Jesus. There are people who are reading the Bible and carrying the Bible every day, but they cannot understand what they are reading from the Bible. You need Jesus for you to understand the word. The word was there. Under Ten Commandments, no one was living according to that Ten Commandments. Why? Power was not present to control the word, to give life to the word. If you hear the word or you master the Bible by scriptures, it doesn't mean that you are a child of God. For anyone to be a child of God, you need Jesus in your life. He was there at the beginning. He followed you again after you rebelled against the one who created you to reconcile you back to your creator by the power of the Holy Ghost. He was the word. You were formed through that word. You become life through the word. Yes, wapinga nyaya chiturika. Tum. Na kube na mayo. Tum. Just the word. What we are lacking is the power of the word. Before I take you to Titus, look at the vehicle. There are two things which can make the vehicle to move. Apart from the driver. Number one, fuel. Number two, power. Fuel and what? Forget about oil. Fuel and power. If you put fuel in the tank and then there's no battery or there's nothing generating power inside the vehicle, that fuel cannot even start. When you put fuel, you need to put power. You put the keys in the ignition to start the engine. What can make the fuel to be bent is the power. If you carry the word without power, you are not carrying Jesus, the owner of the word. You are carrying the record. Nothing and nothing that can, you know, I mean, you cannot do. When it comes to fleshly things. He was the word. Let me take you to Titus. Let me start with Titus chapter 2. This is verse 11. For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions. And to live self-controlled, upright, and godliness life. Let me go back again. For the grace of God has appeared. That offers salvation to all the people. Whether you are a drunker, you are a witch doctor, you are a wizard, you are a criminal. The grace has appeared here on earth. To offer salvation to all the people. It doesn't matter your past life. What you have done in the past or what you are doing today. Because the grace has already appeared to save your life. Who is that grace? Jesus. Listen to verse 12. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions. And to live self-controlled, upright, and good lives in this present age. Meaning, there is no human being who can make you to understand the word of God apart from Jesus himself. I can preach, but I cannot save your life. I can quote scripture from scripture to scripture. It doesn't mean that I can save your life. The one who can save your life is Jesus. He was mandated by God Almighty to say go and be the ransom for my people. So if you say you are a child of God, 
You are not carrying Jesus. You are just carrying the Bible. You mastered scriptures. Without Jesus, you are not a child of God. You are carrying history of the Bible. The people who persecuted Jesus, they were like you. Carrying the Ten Commandments against the Messiah. They could not even recognize him that this is a Messiah. Tuwewe, ninsa mbushu wako atesha vuchitevi. Waku panga. Tetumu ishive. Wewe ndana mafunde. Uratungulu la nabantu. If truly Jesus is in you, number one, he will bring understanding in you. He will give you authority over everything. He will give you dominion. You will dominate everything. Because wherever Jesus goes, he will dominate the place. That is the nature of Christianity. It doesn't matter how many people are following you. It's just a matter of time. I hope you understand this. He has appeared to save all. Listen to 13. While we wait for the blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Here we are again. What we are waiting for is not my church, your church, your title is Jesus. He is the only hope. He is what? If we say Easter, we are talking about the sacrifice made by someone who sees life beyond weakness, beyond persecutions, beyond poverty, beyond frustrations. People can call you names, but when Jesus appeared upon your life, your past is buried. You become a new creation. The world is completely gone. Listen to 14. Who gave himself for us to be redeemed? Ha, ah, let me repeat this one. 14. Who gave himself for us to redeem us from all, all wickedness? All what? You become white. Ah, you are not hearing me. Immediately, Jesus, Africa, Palaf, Pamienu, you become like Jesus. This is why I was teaching you for the past two Sundays that what you receive is what you become. There is no way you can receive the word of God by the power of the Holy Ghost. You don't know whether this one is a witch, whether this one is a human of God or not. Ah, what are you talking about? Jesus is the word. He is the power of life. He came to restore what? Life. Life was lost. That is Jesus. For example, today is what? Good Friday. Others are going somewhere to go and drink. They have carried married people, married women. They have all kinds of nonsense. This is why you call it holiday. It's not holiday to you and me. It is only there to the people of this world. To you, that is life. That is restoration. All wickedness to purify for himself a people that are very, I mean, is very own, eager to do what is right. Yes, Africa. Whether Mwalepe Pensunko, Mwaleiva, Mwal immediate in Africa, it's like a chansunko, chaya. Bukabwa lala, waya. Ulupato, waya. Uluambo. It's a pity that up to now you are still a gossiper. Up to now, you are still a gossiper. You are waiting for next year Easter. Come on, people of God. Easter is not holiday, it is life. 
It is the power of restoration, power of reconciliation. You are redeemed by the blood of Jesus, not by the record. Are you there, people of God? Listen to the same book, Titus 3. Let me jump to 5. Now. He saved us, not because of righteous sin we are done, but because of his mercy. He saved us, not because of what? The righteousness that you have done. You are saved by the man. When Jesus appeared here on earth, he was not looking for righteousness. No. He came for everyone. If you are ready to follow him, you are saved. I am a child of God. By which name? I was born again in 1995. Uh, uh, By which name? Are you carrying that name? I was listening to the debate one day. One of the American preachers is a well-known man of God. He was, you know, debating with the other religion. The way these people, they have mastered the Bible, you cannot stand them as a Christian. You cannot. You cannot stand them. They are not Christians, but they have mastered the Bible. They were quoting Jesus as if they are Christians. And yet, they are not. I said, ah. Then the man said, you are a Christian. Let me ask you this question. Jesus said this and that. What can you say about this? He said, which scripture? The man quoted the scripture. I said, ah. It is not, you know, the way you have mastered the scripture. And you deceive yourself that I am. A, you need to carry the power of the word. You can quote the Bible through the Holy Spirit without even memorizing anything with your blend. The problem is that we are using our blend to quote the Bible. It is the Holy Spirit. This is why you see a prophet of God, an apostle of God can quote the Bible without, you know, even reading that scripture. I can just quote one scripture. That scripture is pregnant with the power of God. So, Easter is not one of the holidays. It is the power of life. It is what? The power of life. Listen to what Peter said. Let's go to John. John 6. You, you, when you go home, go and read uh, all of them. I'm just, uh, you know, giving you the, 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 the points. This is the time when the disciples of Jesus were, you know, uh, deserting him. Listen to this. I think uh, for you to put a clear picture, we start from verse uh, 66. Or oh, let me just go down to 63 so that you, 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 you have the, the, the clear picture. This is Jesus now. The spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I've spoken to you, they are full of spirit and the life. Full of what? Meaning Jesus was not, you know, a, a natural man. Anything from him is spiritual. The spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. Do you understand this word? Do you understand the, the difference between spirit and the flesh? The flesh is totally blind. This is, this is why Jesus appeared in the flesh, although he was not more of the flesh, but the spirit. To introduce you to the power of life. Let's go. Yet, there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus had known from the beginning which of them did not believe and who would betray him. <laughs> there we go now. What made Jesus to know that this one 
he doesn't believe in me. This one will betray me. Is it the blame? The power of life. That is Holy Ghost. Jesus, you know, knew that these are the people who follow me. This one will not follow me. Even Peter, when Peter said, Inepo mule fuila, master. Na inepo ndea fuila. But Peter, bari mumubidi. Tawako ete power of life. Power of life yari muni Jesus because I present at that particular time. Awa lole shevele Peter, miku shinga, ule landa tawanji shiva. What made him to know that this is what is going to happen? Is it a plan? No. The power of life was in him. Jesus ingata kweti amaka ya life. Ngabali mwipe yoko abolo kufikiri chef ya endele. No one can kill the power of life. Because it's, it's the source of everything. That is God himself. If it is by, okay, you are a doctor. And you are carrying the power of life. You are a nurse. You are an accountant. Whatever profession that you are carrying. The way you are going to perform your duties. Ha! Hey. Whether you operation, you can have a success. Because you are carrying the power of life. Meaning, you are not carrying destruction. Whatever you are touching, you are giving life. Whatever you are touching, you are pushing forward. That is what made Jesus to be who he is today. Let's go. Jesus said, For Jesus had known from the beginning which of them did not believe. Sometimes in the church, there are people who are not, you know, understanding you. But they are there. It doesn't mean that they are your enemy. No. That is the nature of life. That is the, you know, and she lay to prove what Maka ya kwati. Ine nebo nani? Nine lesa. Ule bo mbe fite uyu, nine bo nani? Nelesa. But in kwa ambo kupata abantu, because they are not supporting what you are doing, then you are not calling the power of life. If you carry the power of life, you accommodate everyone. Praise the Lord. Listen to 65. He went on to say, this is why I told you that no one can come to me unless the Father has enabled them. It's the same thing. You cannot force yourself to be a child of God without the power of life. You carry this home starting from today up to the end of our journey. Praise the Lord. Let's go now to 67. 66, hi. From this time, many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. Many of what? Turned back. They are no longer following him. Are you telling me that Jesus was fake? Because the people have gone. Come on, children of God. This is the Messiah, the giver of life. He has come to die for you. You are rejecting him. Because Jesus said, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and his blood, you have no life. They said, oh, no, 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 no. This is a hard teachings. Why must we eat his flesh? They ran away from him. But Jesus continued because he understands the weakness of the flesh beyond their confession. Listen to this. Do you want to live too? Do you? Jesus asked them. The 12. This is where my point is in 68. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Are you there? You have the words of what? When you receive the power of life, I told you, understanding will be there. It's like uh, your eyes is opened beyond your flesh. What these eyes cannot see, you are able to see. 
What this mind cannot understand, you are able to understand. Peter said, to whom shall we go? You have what? The words of eternal life. 69. We have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. We have come to believe that you are the Holy One. From who? Ha. This is where now I want you to reflect. For how long? You are going to have you ask for his mercy and his favor. Because the sacrifice is already on the altar for our sins. Peter answered, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe. To know that you are the Holy One of God. And yet, at the end of the day, Peter denied who? Let me ask you this question. Because Peter, had the this man is a Messiah. He was ready to die with Jesus. But at the end of the day, Peter said, I don't know this man. Mm. Why? Understanding and teaching, it is because at this time Peter had not received the word of life in him. So yes. he was not empowered to stand on the word and move on. And yes. You, 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 you uh, give my brother too. He, he, had no, he had no power of life in him. Thank you. It's the same answer. Peter had to mean that you ni kalubula. Echo ashirira na masumbu. But after mona ya densa, you know ku densa. Takwali cha ku muchita sustain spiritually. Enamba ku chimfira mwisa mu mubiri nga mona olupyu mulo pa sa bugavera. If it takes your land if you say you are a child of God without the power of life, it's just a matter of time. You will change your confession. You start saying, no, uh, I didn't mean that. I didn't say that. Peter said, I don't know you. How many times? Peter said, I don't know you. How many times? Looking at the way Peter was committed to support Jesus. Physically, the man was there, busy, very inquisitive. But at the end of the day, he said, I don't know you. People of God, reading the Bible is good. Memorizing scriptures is good. But what is more important is to have Jesus in you. Jesus is the word. He was the word and he became the power to save. The word created you. The invisible power in that word created you. After you rebelled against God, he appeared in form of power. When it was, you know, the time of the a festival, that Passover, his brothers was telling him that you need to go to Galilee so that uh, your people can see you that uh, there's no way someone wants to be a public, you know, figure. Uh, you know, you want to continue operating, uh, hiding from them. You need to go there. He said, but later, the man followed them. The Bible says that the, the, the leaders, the teachers of the law were whispering about Jesus. Where is the man? Where is the man? Where is the man? Where is the man? Is the man? Suddenly, the man appeared. No one could lay his hand because power the giver of life was in control. Mm. He was in control. Umuntu mo ino murela doctora tu umuntu tatatule mufuaya na lete chifu. Fumo ina foot munganda e umapela e umkuverenga. 
Elo na wapunda ati. Nde miewo kwa ticha ale mbale lo. Chafikirishua. The power of life is in control over that body. He was a, you know, like a human being. And yet he was power. Jesus in Africa, you want to say, I that dominate. This is why as a child of God, you are carrying that dominion. You are carrying that understanding. Kula kui nebalela nda ki uta lefuwa ikwa. Nabalabe nabale mikana, nabalabe nabale misula. If you carry the power of life, they will come for you. They will do what? They will come for you. So don't celebrate Easter like history. It is the power of life. You need to possess this power. You need to carry this power. The power to influence. The power to penetrate. The power to control. That is the name Jesus. Nothing and nothing that can fight the name Jesus and win the battle. It's a lie. Whether you see me walking and say, ah, this one, this one, this one, this one, before you know it, you start following me. Bakashana, sendafia makaya kwalesa. Sendafia nshi. Chapwa. The power of life in you. When you are walking like this, power is talking. Power is calling your future partner. Stop disturbing yourself. Just carry the power of life. You become Tandabube Munshkolanswa Shine Shireta. That is power. He died once. And he said, Whoever believes in me shall never be put to shame. It is finished. It is what? Jesus is the man. Jesus is what? Whether any promotion that this time there's no need for you to say, Bamuikata, Vachitens. No, we need to possess that power. Simple. We need to do what? Kale bamu ipeye. Elo takafwe na kabiri. Adi fwa achimfia nem fwa. Achimfia na ma problems. The only thing which is there now is the power of life on the silver plate. Get it. So that you change the face of your family for the salvation of your soul. He is the word and he is life. That's what I know. It's Bible. It's what? And the life. If you are not funda Jesus, Abba Fali Sivatile, but show you Munti Fiale funda. That's a mirila. Ngaya manu aya kufunde fi aya funya kuisa. Evelyn Shawa neka na abana tata. Nshila nde fi andi. Ndandefyo tatanje woku chita. Na imwenga mulipacha alo. Endeni na yesu muka timuli imwe. Ife mwa kula chitaba ntuwa kula ipusha chaba shani. Nishi le chitika mwebele nshaba neka. Na habana yesu. Simple. You can carry the same Bible. This one can carry the same Bible. The only difference which is there, someone is carrying history. The other one is carrying the power of life. You will see the benefit. This one will not see the benefit. At the end of the day, because you are carrying the same Bible, you start saying, ah, why? Is Satanist or what? Maka. Elo amaka, ea lenga fionso kubako. Nga tamukwete amaka ya kualesa. Na buka pepa ni shitamukwete. Nensa mbu pabu miwenu ni shitamuwa itashani. Tamuwa kuata. Nga mwa kuata fi amaka, nensa mbu mwa itashani. In that power you can command. You can direct. You can rebuke. You can release. Because you are carrying the power of life. 
Why must you carry the history of the Bible? Huh? You remember what Jesus did? They said, uh, teacher, we caught this woman in the act of what? Uh, adultery. According to the law of Moses, we are told that uh, this type must be stoned to death. Jesus, uh, that's why I love Jesus. That's why I love Jesus. If you are a judge, you judge people in that court and you are calling Jesus inside you, your judgment is perfect. Because you know exactly who is wrong and who is not what? Wrong. Jesus was just bending down and he started writing. Maybe he was writing their sins. He said, sir, you did it on that day. I didn't say it, it, it's written here, no. The Bible says that he was writing on the ground. But he, he, no one knows what was there on the ground. But according to my own understanding, it's like he was writing what? Their problems. Sir, I didn't say it. What happened at the end of the day? They ran away. Jesus and that woman. If it was not the power of life in Jesus, that woman, it was just a second to be killed. He came to save. He came to restore and to reconcile. That is the name Jesus you need to carry by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uriana Mayo Taf will repent to Yesu. I shall go pay low boom, you wash up attention. In this world, in our generation, there is no one who can lead the church to salvation without the power of life. Because people can lie, people can deceive you. People can give you wrong information against an innocent child. You start hating people because there are people who are giving you false, you know, reports. But if the power of life, because Jesus is life, he cannot allow you to kill or to destroy. Whenever you receive a report, you take it to him. Sir, this is the report. He said, no. <laughs> Don't even pay attention to this one. What is happening is ABCD. You brush it off. If truly you are a child of God, the power of life is in control over your life. I want you to know this. Without the spirit of God in you, without the word in you, without the power that brought Jesus to this life, you can say you are a child of God. But one day, we shall meet there. Here on earth, yes, it is your right to confess what you are not. But there, you cannot. Let me see your hand. But camping first. I think I'm before you compete balance before you raise your hand. Remember that Peter was promising Jesus to say, I'm going to die with you. It is very easy, people of God, to say, I am a child of God. It is not easy to live the life of Jesus here on earth. So, this is my message for you. Easter is not one of the holidays. It is the power of life. Jesus came to restore life. He came to reconcile. But those who are in the flesh, those who are
But if the power of life is inside you, you just say, yes, I am here for Jesus. For me to die, it is again. Hmm? But without the power of life, ha, 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 this is my first time that is life in the flesh that is what Peter ari temeno yesu no kusumina ari musumine but icho tari tala kwata maka ya kuikalira ko pachalo Jesus ta mwaka mumoni alenda futi muno muchalo na fwala ngefe tufwele afwile aenda muri ifwe nomba E maka ya life yo mfile mwa ikari lako. E maka ya life yo mfile mwa bombe lako business, inchito, ukusungi lako wabana. No, ni chili chonse chomule chita. Kubo kwa kwa yesu. Mudi imwe. Ngatamumu kwete. You can confess Jesus hundred times. But at the end of the day, Satan is always lighting you like a was. He is even laughing at you. He says, <laughs> abana lesa, my donk in the night. When this power is in control, you become dangerous to the kingdom of darkness. It is not everyone who believes in what you are doing, except those who have been given to you by God Almighty. It is here. Jesus said, unless my father enabled you to follow me. But That is our foundation. God bless you.